Now this is what y'all been waiting for. I have some plants in my room. They make me happy. I was looking for plant pots and I couldn't find any, so like that I wanted. So I decided to just make some with clay. Um, and I forgot to film the process, like a dummy dumb dumb. Okay, so I cut open my thing of clay and then I just had this like slab and it's bubbly and stuff. Like, that's, that's what I mean by bubbly. Um, so it, it was like a huge slab. So I just started squishing it down like this. And yeah, and then I smooth out all the bumps. Evenly thick. I did both sides, by the way, because you smooth out these little air pockets too. But yeah, be careful when you lift it up. Oh, I put water down on my surface first. Anyway, so now I had this huge slab and I put it into like the shape of a pot and obviously it kept falling. So I tried to find an existing mug or pot or bowl the size that I would needed plus two inches for the pot to, uh, for the plant to repot. Anyway, well, when it's bigger, it's not going to stand up like that. Anyway, so then I did this and it was just like flat. And then this is um, for nail cuticles, literally from Dollarama. Like I got like a little kit because uh, I didn't want to spend 20 bucks on a clay kit. And then I just like, like took off a chunk at a time and like slapped it on. If you want, you can like pre-shape it kind of like a nose, um, like a little pear-ish shape kind of vague and like kind of squish it together so there's no air pockets inside then you like if this is the surface of your thing like kind of like poke it a little bit or like do little hatching like that and then on your piece that you're attaching to sometimes you can also like add a drop of water have a bowl of water on the side and then kind of like Touch it. This is very shoddy, of course, because I'm just trying to show you how I did that. And then I made it way too small for scale. Kept adding to it and whatnot. I wasn't this um, aggressive when I did it on my actual pot. Anyway, you get you get the idea. And then I kind of ripped off a piece here because I I'd only want one eye. And then I liked how this looks. I don't know. Looks like. Flower, I don't know. Cute, I like it. Oh, I also um, I took uh, a video of my face from each angle, and then like obviously a face isn't flat, so I added some um, like buccal fat here, and then in for like the the out for the chin a bit. See like the cheekbone here, in at the temple, the cheek fat. The jaw, I tried to like, because it goes like in, out, in a bit, out for the jaw. And then this is like my chin line. That's the work I've done so far. And then it gets too dry. So I kind of like dip my finger in water and like very softly pat all around so it's still workable, especially on the edges here. Okay, I left it like this overnight with um, the bowl of water in there and completely sealed. Let's see if it worked. It did, it's still like pliable, although it's quite dry, um, so that's not great. Good to know. Okay, so the ears are way too big. I get it, whatever. And then per scale, the freaking nose and mouth are way too small. I didn't realize that the lips are like the size of my eye. I'm so 
mad. I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm really, really proud of this. I think it's amazing. And it's my first, you know, sculpture. Um, I'm just very frustrated because you can't really do anything with clay after it's dry, so it's not like I can add on to it. I made that too. This is my little, like, alien <laughs> swing thing. And I bought this before making this little guy, so I knew it would fit in there. Um, you can just lift the plant right out. That's the hair. And it kind of moved so the A doesn't go together anymore, but it should be like M, A, L. Just like Toy Story. Now this is what y'all been waiting for. I made this for a different plant, that's why this is like not great. <laughs> Um, sticking out. Otherwise, had I known, I would have made this taller. And this is so big just because, honestly, the clay kept falling apart. It just wouldn't stay together. Um, if I hadn't pushed the back to be so long in the back, then it would have all been in the face. It was like this wide until I like slowly pushed it to be thinner here. It's a bit precarious, like there's nothing holding it in. These are the little earrings that are actually like my own. Little eyelashes. 